So we'll look at question 18 and 19. So which of these mechanism arrows is incorrect? So which looks incorrect? Uh, a lone pair of electrons with an arrow coming from it is perfectly acceptable. Going to a C, well, this is, an this is a polar bond with Br more electronegative than the C, so this would have a slight delta plus. That's perfectly acceptable. The Br is electronegative and pulling electrons, drawing electrons along the bond towards itself anyway, and is slightly electronegative at delta minus. That breaking and going onto the Br and coming off and breaking and forming the Br minus is perfectly acceptable. So it's either C or D. Lone pair of electrons going to an H, possible, unusual, but it's possible, at least that's correct. I think there's something wrong with C here. It's coming from a bond which is perfectly acceptable, but surely if that bond were going to break, if you've got an N with a plus on it here, an N with a plus on it, then the electrons would go the other way and would go onto the N rather than onto the H to uh, eliminate the, to remove the N plus and get rid of the plus by the electrons moving on to the plus. So that arrow, that C, is going the wrong way it would break and they would move on to the plus to uh, eliminate that n plus um, which is unstable so your answer is arrow c next one how do you work out uh, whether something is z so z is on the same side what's on the same side so what you do is you look at this carbon to carbon double bond and you trace it back if there's nothing here there's an h so if it's a skeletal formula, if it's got one, two, three bonds, its fourth bond here is an H. So there's an H there and an H there. So what you do is either side to the left of the double bond, you identify which is the heaviest atom. So going along here, there's a C with a higher atomic number. And along here, there's an H with a lower atomic number. So this group here has got a carbon joined to it. This way, there's an H joined to it. So this group here would take priority. On this side, there's an H, and on this side, going along, there's a carbon, another carbon, another carbon. So this one would take priority. So along here, you've got one on this side, and then one going up on the other side. That is an E isomer. So that's not correct. B, let's have a look. To the carbon to carbon double bond. Uh, from here, I've got a C. That way I've got a C, so both of them have got the same atomic number, but this has got H's attached to it. This has got another C with another C with another C. So this one takes priority because as you trace further along the chain, then you've got carbons with higher atomic numbers. This one takes priority over the methyl group. And on this side, you've got an H coming down here with a lower atomic number. This way, you've got a carbon with a higher atomic number. This one takes priority. So you've got one coming down and one going up. This one is an E isomer. What about this one here? So this way I've got a carbon and a carbon here, but this carbon here is a methyl group with just H's on it. This one has got a carbon joined to another carbon, joined to another carbon, joined to another carbon. So as you go further on the chain, these carbons have got higher atomic numbers. So this one takes priority. This way you've got nothing coming off here, uh, shown at least. So you've got an H coming off here to give the fourth bond. And this way you've got a carbon with a higher atomic number. These here, C has got a carbon here. This group takes a higher priority than just this carbon because this carbon has got lots of other carbons going along a higher atomic number. This one takes priority and on this side this group takes priority over the H. The C is on these two on the same side going down and down so this one is a Z isomer. Let's just check this one as well. This one here to the left you've got a carbon uh, this way you've got a carbon, both with the same atomic number, but as you go along further on the chain, that one's got another carbon with a higher atomic number than the H's that are joined to this carbon. So this one takes priority, that one's going up, and then down this way I've got an H, and coming down I've got a carbon with a higher atomic number, this one's coming down. So that one's got this one taking priority going up, and this one taking priority coming down, they are opposite, that is E. So your answer is C. C is your Z isomer with uh, the groups with the highest priority, uh, both going down from that carbon to carbon double bond.